Good morning, folks. Tonight and tomorrow we have the draconid meteor shower. Sometimes a dud. Last year it was spectacular. We'll find out soon. Torrential rain has battered the northern part of South America, and a landslide has occurred in Colombia. Second time in two days, the landslide has claimed at least a dozen lives. Quakes are dying down a bit. Still have some moderate action around the Caribbean and the Central American subduction zone. The largest quake of the last 24 hours was a mid five pointer that rang the Philippines earlier this morning. Wrapping up quakes, a 2.8 is only noteworthy in a place like New York City or the Canary Islands here. But while this is high for the region, it is the lone gunman out there and actually struck the eastern area of the islands out of harm's way for the USA. Precipitation records for yesterday, while Alaska and Florida, our hat and shoes, got rain records, Arkansas and Oklahoma are on here for slight sightings of sleet and ice. Pulling up yesterday's snow records map to check the earliest recorded winter precip for November here, October here. So this is early for them, but if you go just a little bit west, they have seen September snow. We'll take a quick look here at those clouds as they swept over Oklahoma and Arkansas, set those brief records. Can anyone guess what or where this is? Well, if any Australians remember me saying that your warm temperatures would get one last cold blast this weekend, this is the low pressure system that sucked up Antarctic air and while I knew you'd get cold, I did not think you would break cold records, some said as recently as 2005. Got two tropical systems flanking the USA. Olivia in the East Pacific is headed for deeper oceans while we are a little less certain about the new Caribbean low. Could go pretty much any direction at this point. Solar wind, if you thought yesterday's mild fluctuations caused too much space weather, wait till you see this. We have minor spiking of proton density, surely nothing major, not a CME or a coronal hole stream. But that it is right here at the baseline coming up. The horizontal multi-line resonance on the left is ambient harmonics induced within our system. The baseline resonance in the middle correlates to those proton spikes we just showed you, however minor. And also a little bit shocking to get immediate PC1 pulsations afterwards. This ion cyclotron radiation with the genesis at our magnetospheric equator often suggests that our shields are trying to repair themselves. That's fast. I second that with evidence of dropping critical frequencies. Ignore the black slice through the sun, their models do it sometimes. You can see the footprint near the middle grouping of individual connections with the other grouping connected firmly to the back side. Not that we are getting any front side flares anyway, in fact if you look at the last 6 hours we are at A flare range for the first time since solar minimum. Interesting solar features of the last 24 hours, plasma filament down south broke away but did dive right back into the sun. We have just one active region turning into face earth as the sun goes a little bit quiet here. We had another wave of energy rip through the corona right to the right of that dark coronal hole. We'll need a few hours to determine if any particles were ejected. Meanwhile, we have one ejection already on its way to Earth, should be here tonight or tomorrow. We are also expecting a significant coronal hole stream to hit from these dark features that are turning away from the center. Notice we got another one turning in from the left there. Eyes open with no fear, folks. Enjoy this calm. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe.